Hey, Lewis here from Uniquely and today we're talking about the nine key considerations when starting your e-commerce site. Because as we know, recently consumers and more and more of them are going online and we need to be marketing to them online. Number one, your niche and your name. So what are you going to call your e-commerce site? Now I'll start with what product are you selling? Who are you marketing to? What niche is there in that market? And then when you're talking about products, think about the warehousing, how are you going to store those products, and if it's a service-based product, how are you actually going to present that to your clients. Number two is market research. Now when we talk about market research, we often think it's a very tedious task, which in some cases it is, but it can make it simple. Think about three things. Think about your competitors, the volume of your market, and how you're going to reach them, and then how that ties into your business plan and your marketing expenses. Number three, Web design. Now, web design is often tricky. You've got to try and fit the brand and the functionality of the site together. Now, what I recommend is using a theme to start off with and then customizing that theme to your particular style and your particular brand. But when doing website design, make sure that those two things are still present, however much you change it. So that there's a theme, a good brand presence, and secondly, it's easy to use and easy to buy from you. Number four, SEO. Now, this may seem like a bit of a bane. At the very start, you're thinking about SEO. Well, actually, when you're starting an e-commerce site, if you get SEO right when you launch, you'll be far better off like six months down the line where you've actually got more and more traffic coming to you instead of your competitors. You'll be in a better position if you make sure that SEO is in there right at the start of your launch. When doing SEO for a new e-commerce site, go onto Ahrefs or a similar keyword tool and list out common keywords that you're thinking of for selling your services and for your products, and then build out a related keywords list and a total volume of how much search you could bring in. From this, then trim it down and identify which keywords are related to which pages you've created on the e-commerce site. Finally, look at your products and your services and the pages you have on the website. Make sure the content is optimized for those keywords. So make sure the content on the page is optimized, the H1 and H2 tags, Make sure the metadata and the title tags are all correct too. Make sure your website is really optimized for SEO when you launch because it will give you a great traffic boost later. Number five is mobile. Now this is really important because 63% of e-commerce traffic was on mobile in 2019. Now that means that we need to be second to none in our mobile optimization. Number six is security. Make sure people can trust you with their payment details. Make sure your payment gateway is correctly integrated and that everything is working and according to guidelines. Number seven is like the basics. So we need to think about how we're gonna get the goods to our customers. What sort of packaging are we going to use? Is there a delivery cost we need to add into the website? Is there something we can offer in addition that makes you a better supplier? For example, you could use recycled packaging to make yourself a better eco-friendly supplier instead of your competitors. Number eight is your marketing. So this involves everything from social media to email marketing to content strategy Think about a bit of a strategy around the whole marketing plan and how you're going to target your audience. One good idea, particularly for e-commerce sites, is to create good content in a blog and also share brand new blogs with people like bloggers and people out there on other websites to get a backlink to your site. Number nine, the final one, is stay compliant. Now this is really important. Make sure your products you're selling are licensed, make sure that you're registered as a proper business, make sure you're paying all the taxes that you should be and also make sure you're compliant with GDPR. Make sure you've got that OK box and that tick box in your site. In conclusion, starting an e-commerce store is relatively easy compared to starting a brick and mortar store, for example. But making sure all the key considerations are in there and all the preparation and planning is done beforehand can sometimes be tedious. Make sure you do it though, because it will pay dividends long term. And with that, I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.